I love raw milk. Fresh raw cow's milk straight from the udder. I got uncured raw milk. Hey, we've just been in and got White Knight Family Farms raw milk. I've never ever tasted raw milk before. Got this from a local farm in Tampa, Florida. This really cool, like local, organic, all natural store. Okay, let's try it. Oh man, that's good. It tastes really creamy. It just tastes like milk. Creamier and smoother. It says Debbie on it, so I'm assuming that Debbie is the cow. What was your first reaction to um, bringing raw milk into your family? So at first, like, I saw how, like, much creamier it was than the regular pasteurized milk. And I had my hesitancy, for sure, because I usually don't like, like, that kind of texture. I poured it on my cereal, I was like, dang, it doesn't even taste, like, that different. It was actually, like, a richer flavor to me. You just put it on cereal, just drink it straight up, put mm -hmm. it in smoothies. Do you think people should be scared of raw milk? I don't think people should be scared. I think uh, you're actually missing out if you don't consume it. So. Raw milk has a long history, but to begin, what is pasteurization and the process behind it? Pasteurization is a method that was adopted quickly. Currently, the legal standard is heating milk for 30 minutes at 145 degrees Fahrenheit and cream for 30 minutes at 150 degrees Fahrenheit. Although heating the milk to this temperature kills a lot of the bad microbes, pasteurization was a great way to create a process that promoted mainstream health in the large-scale dairy industry, but also created a lot of fear surrounding the consumption of raw milk. Although the process of pasteurization was invented in 1863 by Louis Pasteur, it was not until 1886 that a German scientist by the name of Franz von Sachslet suggested that it be applied to milk to prevent its spoilage. Since then, pasteurization has become the default option for our society, mainly due to the abandonment of small farms and the widespread reliance on industrial farms and mass production. Hi, I'm Stacy. I um, am a farmer here in um, Northwest Georgia, and I have grass-fed beef, and I also have a raw milk community-supported um, agricultural co-op here, a milk share that I run. So about 10 years ago, I started this <clears throat> health journey just personally. Um, you know, I grew up in agriculture and just to hear my grandparents at the end of their life kind of talk about how different food tasted, I just began to really get take an honest look at my own diet and realize I was eating a lot of processed food. I had developed a milk allergy and a friend of mine said, you should try raw milk. And I found um, a farmer and I started drinking raw milk. So I started falling in love with milk again and I started drinking it. I noticed that I wasn't getting sick, I wasn't getting stomach aches. It was a natural probiotic and so I could see that my immune system was responding differently and I was feeling healthier and stronger. And then my kids, you know, my kids were, were um, all babies and they were getting the benefits of raw milk as well. It was a big personal health mm -hmm. journey that kind of, I guess, led me to even mm -hmm. considering getting a family milk cow. You know, compared to like a commercial dairy that would have a herd of you know, probably 50 to 100 dairy cows that they're, they're milking daily and producing, you know, up to 500 gallons of milk a day. I have one cow, and her name is Dolly. Rather than my my focus being on quantity or production, I'm focusing on the milk cycle that the animal is naturally producing. So um, my attention and my care is more focused small scale but then also the business side is a whole different side because for someone who's more small scale like myself, you have to really build your customer base from the ground up. It's really difficult for me to go to a farmer's market just because of some of the state regulated laws around milk. Georgia is a big dairy state. There's tons of dairies here, big dairies. And so I, I feel like a lot of those laws are there to protect those 
big dairies where pasteurization is necessary when you're processing that many cattle like in, in a short amount of time, like bad things can happen. In my opinion, the regulations are out of more um, supporting industrial farming, which is really hard for us smaller farmers. It's really hard for us to make a living. So these laws are put into place and um, I think it's really important to have health regulations around raw milk, making sure that I'm providing safe products for my customers and so I can understand why there would be some safety laws. But to say that it's illegal and that it's not a product that can be sold is such a disservice to the small farmers. I do not think there should be fear around raw milk, but I do think there should be caution and, and some form of regulation. The problem is that right now the regulations are unfair to small farms. So it is disproportionately negatively affecting small farms because the regulation is pretty well uniform. So all our dairies have gone out of business because of the way the regulations are, are really geared towards really large dairies. With raw milk directly from cows, I don't feel like there's much of a strong flavor at all. It tastes just like the milk you're getting you know, at the grocery store, but it has more health benefits, especially if you know you're sourcing it from a safe farm that knows what they're doing. And so it was a no-brainer to me to just source it locally from a local farmer and support my local economy, support my local agricultural um, system, if you will, make sure local farmers had a way to make some money, and my children wouldn't know the difference. What's your advice for people wanting to find a local farm? Have a pet. <laughs> <laughs> Have a pet that needs milk mm -hmm. and then go to your local health food store and ask them if they have raw milk. Mm -hmm. And they probably have raw milk for sale. You could ask them if there are local CSAs or local farms that are dairies that have you know, milk available. Um, but, I, I mean, you can go to a local health food store and they sell raw milk for pets. So you can go that route. And they are going to be doing their homework on whether or not that, that dairy is, you know, being safe and thoughtful and, mm -hmm. you know, is a safe product. They won't be selling it in the store if it's not a safe product because their pets would be getting sick. Yeah, I like it. Go, go try your local fresh raw milk. Do it. Don't be a freaking baby.